What's up my loves? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your buddy Rush You can follow me on my socials. They're going to be somewhere here. Actually, they're going to be here. So without further ado. So without further ado, today I'm back with another video. And basically today just going to, I'm going to be updating some of y'all who are not in the mix. I'm going to be updating y'all whatever is happening around um, the country. Um, yeah, so first of all, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and yeah, basically, a lot of things have been happening this week, um, and it's so funny because, like, the week is not even over yet, so, yeah, I decided to take this chance to just, you know, talk about these issues, so I'm going to be playing, as you already know, um, so basically, the first thing we are going to be talking about is... Godi Hunch and she's called Ariane the Shane. Yeah. So for y'all who do not know who Godi Hunch is, um Godi Hunch is the Pluto's brother. Um him and Ariane used to date. Um yeah, so apparently um um Godi Hunch right now he's moved on and this is the person who he's dating right now as you can see. Um her name is I don't know I don't Rina something whatever. But anyway, back to the story. So um Ariane was asked how she feels about Godi Hunch moving on and she's she had a couple of things to say. Um she was like, you know, they used to talk like them like in short, Godi Hunch and this Chile, they've been dating for a very long time. It's not at it, yeah, no, like I guess this guy has to took into Udin. So yeah, and not only that, um apparently um people are saying like people are saying that um Godi Udin the ex or Godi Hunch before this Ariane. So yeah, Ariane. So yeah, we really don't know. The true fact is a lot of influencers and celebrities just use a lot of they just cloud chasers, they just like to be talked about, yeah. So, um, I would like, and actually, before I uh, to start to talk about your story, Arien Undochali, let me just put it here. Arien Undochali, I talk a furry ex. So, oh my God, you guys, tell me, tell me. Um, do you think it was better when Godi Hunch was with Arien, or do you think Godi Hunch na ude miyake mpia wakopoa, or um Ariane and Kafuri Wakapuan. Which is your better couple? Which will be which will be your best pick? Um so the second thing we are going to be talking about is Avare. Oh my god. Let me tell you as women, I already told you like most of these women you know wanna find you to appear and then like you end up emulating them. Look, they'll never they'll never like settle down and like you know have a family and just all that. So um, I'm pretty sure you all know Ambare and um, Jamal Rafasafi, they broke up. Actually, it's been a, a while, yeah. And straight after the moment we stopped dating, um, she started dating Kenny Rapudo. Um, this is the picture right here. This is, oh yeah, he's, he's called Kenny Rapudo. And apparently right now they've broken up. So, we don't know. It means Amare needs our prayers. Let's be honest. She really, really needs our prayers. And yeah, let's just hope. Honestly, I just think God should make a way for all of us to just get good men. Honestly, so yeah, that's what's up. And it is what it is. You can't force things. So um, yeah, actually, when she was asked on her Instagram story, this is what she had to say. So. Sure, you can see, but yeah, the couple have split up. It's it's never really happy to talk about people breaking up, but yeah. So we are also going to talk about Monga Mbaya. If you y'all don't know who Monga Mbaya is, um, he's Telambaya's brother. Telambaya was Bahati at Machachari. If you all remember that show, like it was a kids show, we used to watch it when we were kids. So, like, yeah, um, Baha, Akona brother, Kubwa, and by like, Kubwa, Kwa Media, like, Nanaitwa, Mondra, Mbaya. 
So Mongai Mbaya has been dating Mo Aisha and they've dated for years. And they split up. Um, the guy clearly said, um, <coughs> if you want to go check that video, go at Mongai Ibs channel and just check it out. Um, if you, because he said uh, the biggest problem was the fact that they lost a kid. And the true fact is, I feel this see, like it's some couples do and some are just strong together. So all I can say is losing, losing a kid that you've, you've carried for like nine months, it hurts so bad. It really, really hurts. And he also admitted the fact that he's a guy and that he did not want to talk about these things. And you know, us as women, we like talking about these kind of things, especially to our significant others. So the fact he was not able to because he said um, him by not talking about it, that's how he deals with the problem. And you know, the us as women, we like talking about things because that's how we deal with ish. So yeah, they broke up and as you all know, they were also in a proper relationship. That means they, like the guy was dating two, two women and Mo Aisha is bisexual. So she had a girlfriend and yeah, they decided to do, in short, it's called polyamory, like three people in a relationship. So, yeah, they split up and even the that girlfriend is actually happy and she's in love with someone new. So, I really hate talking about this breaking up ish, honestly, because it's not right. It's okay, it's, it's not that it's not right, it's just not. Like, it's really emotional. So, yeah, I'm really sorry to them. Like, let's just send our apologies to them. And yeah, so now the last topic we're going to talk about is Oga Obina. Oh my God, we will not let her drama, I can let her TV wiki. So first and foremost, Oga Obina, um, he posted something and he was like, you know, my day when you a tattoo, when you have appearance, like, they're not marriage material. And you know, the question is like, who gives a fuck? Like honestly, Unajwa, let's be honest. Just the same way. I don't know why, why when it comes to men, they think like, at a week, six years as women, we don't be choosing. But in real sense, we do be choosing. The sure fact is, us as women, we do be choosing, because let's be honest, just as Naume, some of us are not like marriage material. Trust me, most of you all niggas are not husband material. Like, we can look at you, we can mess with you, and clearly to my job, oh, you me, like, oh, you do, nah, garbage, rubbish, period. So, I just wanted to clear that because, like, oh, this double standard thing needs to stop. Like, boys have options, women have options, and that's just how life is. So, and apparently after that, um, the, baby, the baby mama came out and um, she was interviewed by presenter Ali, so you can go check that video out also. So, um, Oga Obina, like the baby mama was saying that Ali wanna put a leg, come up on a condom, straight to the box, go in and out, and I'm like, okay, first and foremost, if this is true, then he's a fucked up guy and then second Oga Obina was just like okay um also y'all can go see Oga Obina was interviewed by Mundai Ibs so you can go see the video and basically he's just saying that he was protecting the Chile from getting diseases so in short he meant that he was, he was cheating and that's crap so um yeah so the the baby mama also like was mama came out and um, she was interviewed by presenter Ali, so you can go check that video out also. So, um, Oga Obina, like the big mama was saying that Ali wanna put your leg, come up on a condom, straight to the box, go in and out, and I'm like, okay, first and foremost, if this is true, then he's a fucked up guy. And then second, Oga Obina was just like, okay, um, also y'all can go see him. Oga Obina was interviewed by Mungai Ibs, so you can go see the video. And basically he's just saying that he was protecting the Chile from getting diseases, so in short he meant that he was, he was cheating. And that's crap. So, um, 
Yeah, so the the baby mama also like was interviewed by presenter Ali and she said um she had a lot a couple of things to say and I'm going to put a snippet of a video right here so that y'all can see. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah, so that y'all can see, so that y'all can see. And yeah, he she claims that Oga Obina and Ekwana Mama Lekanab at Yoga Renal inye. I'm pretty sure most of us so um he has a new car. He had a new car like a while back. Um she said that Alibiona Mama and yeah Nekwana Mama. So hey na kwambi a mambo ya twa vili any uneza shanga or twa kikwa pa kwando wa yani is in the mambo zi. Anyway, so basically I'm just going to let you all, um, you know, just keep uh, um, keep, um, keep enjoying the video. I'm going to return to like a in the lake, and then after that, um, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, um, subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below, and I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me so much. I mean, the true fact is I'm so grateful because the rest of my videos that I've been posting like a long time ago, they've been gaining, like, they've been getting a lot of views, so I'm just appreciate full end.